Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, another edition of the Star Trek Next Generation build, the USS Enterprise 1701D by Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. This time it's Magazine 5. Now, we're going to have a quick look through. You've got a freebie with this one. This is the, yes, Utopia Panicia Galaxy Class Project t-shirt. Extra large, unfortunately, I may not fit on in this, but hey ho, it's nice to see. I mean, it's a quite nice little t-shirt. Might wear it, might not. I don't know. It looks kind of used, but it's not. not. Oh, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's fine. It's absolutely spot on. So this is one of the freebies you get with this set. I'm still missing the screw box, which is an absolute pain because all the spare screws I'm getting, I can't put them anywhere. So without any further ado, let's get into looking at the magazine, shall we? So number five, lots of interesting parts I'll show you in here, shall we say? It's still going through the episodes, so we've still got series one. That just shows you how far we're going to be in this, shall we? Right, looks like we've got some more supports for the source section and the back. Looks like the battle bridge and the back of the neck supports. Um, that's 15, 16, looks like more bridge. Don't know what these two bits are and some screws. Another part for the bridge, some support. I think that's the battle bridge. I don't know where this part is and some screws. And 18 is the actual plastic part. It's like a part that will go on the, the saucer section, some lighting sections, which probably go behind here. The actual top side of, yeah. There's actually, I worked to notice on here, we'll find that in a moment. There's actually magnets on there, I think. Some LEDs as well to go in here. So instructions, looks like, yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is. Looks like they just go on there for the first part. Second part, we're almost got a complete upper side. We've already got, yeah, we've already got the back section, haven't we? Here we got this last time. So this is now underside with the back bridge, which you don't really see until its saucer has been separated. Ha ha, hello. 17, we have this section here. So that gets that part done. And I'm guessing the battle bridge are three parts, three pins. Yes, yeah, screw, screw, screw. Happy, happy. So that does give us the full size of the saucer. Panel there with the Enterprise. I guess there should be stickers on the back of this, which I don't think there is. Looks like we may have to put a zone on, which is fine. I don't mind putting my own on, unless, of course, these are going to be underside. Check with the batteries. Go through the data law. Yes, we have Angel 1, 1, 1, oh, 1, oh, 1, the binars. That was a good scene, that one. The actual effects on there with the dinner cells gone. It wasn't a gold one. That was strange. It was more of a purple. It was down, unless it's a certain angle. Tasha Yar. Too short a season. And when the bow breaks, is that the Klingon one? Da, 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 da. No, it wasn't. Can't believe I'm actually forgetting what the episodes are. Okay, some of the powerful, apparently doomed people, the, the, the children, for, oh, right, okay, so they adopt, abduct the children. Right, got you, that one. A nice little, Apart for the shuttle, which it wasn't, we never actually saw that for home soil and coming of age. So there's the magazine for you. Not much in there except instructions, which we will be going through anyway. So let's get the first part and get this building. Okay, all set up. Back of the bridge, two large supports, two small supports, and some screws. Now, saying placing the penultimate upper source of supports, ready as the structure to form a complete ring shape in the following stages. Okay, so it looks like we get this little small piece, which we got from last time. So it looks like we just copy. I must flip this sideways a little bit. Looks like we get the screws in there and there. 
and there and there. Because that's this part here. So we get the thicker part on the inner. Screw in with two screws there on the top. And then the smaller parts go on this middle ring here to there, to two, and same on this side here, and the two there, and then a thicker one over there. I don't think we do anything with the back of here. Note, keep battle section skeleton one in a safe place for use later on. So I'm not gonna bore you with showing you how to screw these things in. It's just a pick case of I'll probably do that, put in the right line there. It is a, you can actually hold it in place like that and it is there and can screw straight in. So it's only a case of putting eight screws into the parts on here and we'll get back to this in a second. There we go, stage 15 is complete. It's kind of, I'm showing this now because this is the size, this part will be kind of underneath there when it's been done, but that gives you an idea of the, the whole scale of this. Mm. So put this to one, plate, one side, two extra screws this time, the BMs, the uh, B size, which is the second size up, M for metal. We'll get on to stage 16 and see what we need to do for that one. Stage 16 assembly now. So we have put one part for the saucer, two shuttle bays, B M screws, B P screws. I put the extra two from the last one on the pile there, but I'll handle the metal ones because they're thinner threads. So we have this way around. So this one, according to the instructions over here, looks like it fits um, online with it. Let's go back over there a little. Does that run over there? No, it doesn't. So it either runs there, yeah, it runs there, inside. So you've got more support when the actual top part, it looks a little odd, to be honest. I thought it'd actually go over to here, but it doesn't. This part comes back, this part almost joins it. So, I mean, they do, I am really actually enjoying this build. I didn't think I would at first. However, it's getting a little bit repetitive with the skeleton parts, but it has to. There's gonna be the, there has to be a skeleton for the rest of the body to go into. There was one for the nacelle, when we first got that. It's a shame we haven't got both, but um, I'm sure we'll get there eventually, and I'm sure I'll get a better screwdriver one day. And maybe they realize that these screwdrivers are absolutely diabolical, and they will send one out every every 12 months. That would be nice. So, I can't get that in. It keeps falling off. The screwdriver is absolutely useless. So I'll get these other three screws in. Give me a second, quick cut, and we'll get on with the next part. And there we have it, done and sorted. So we are, it is getting quite heavy, this. A slight, slight bend flex over here. But I think that will be counter by, I can't think there's any more support that's gonna go in here, you know. There won't be anything there. It's just because of the different of patterns over here, there just seems to be a little bit of flex. But that's fine, I'm sure that's gonna be not a problem whatsoever. So look at the size of this, it's absolutely ridiculous. So we'll put that to one side, maybe come into that, back to that later. Now, where is this section here? Ah, this is the back of the neck that we got from the last part, or maybe the part before. It's got these springy bits. Don't really know if anything's gonna be done on there. I don't think anything will, because we've already covered over. I can't think. There's somebody actually mentioned it might be a release mechanism for the source section. I know a little better now at the moment by seeing the rest of the parts. You will too. So, looks like we do this. Got both shuttle bay doors. It says shuttle bay. I thought the bigger one was a shuttle bay, and I thought the smaller one was a cargo bay. So, I don't know. So we obviously have the small one on that side, we'll do the 16C first. Looks like we make sure we put this cable, bend that out of the way, which is fine. I'll probably do that same on the other one in a moment. So the larger one, screw hole seems to be in the center there. Should we show you there? There, so it looks like it goes in. Does it go this way or that way? This is really awkward. But the light's already been in. This wants to be lipped underneath there. So with the light being there and the cable's already been in the way, the 
this is a bit awkward. It's good. I like something a little bit of a challenge, but also not a nightmare too. Right, that's not to bend around a lot more. Ah, okay. So that go underneath there instead. Does it state how to do this? Probably. I'd never read the instructions. I really wish I would. They're there for my benefit as well as yours. Ah, it went through. <laughs> I might tape up half of these cables and get rid of them for a bit. This is going to drop in place and I have no idea how it's going to go, aren't I? Um, okay. That is impossible to get in there without cutting that cable. Oh, no. This is... This isn't good. Right, does it say anything about releasing this? Uh, revive the battle section, identify the cables, left and right windows, carefully bend them towards the shuttle bay opening. What? Away from the shuttle bay opening. Yes, carefully. It's too thick. Honestly, it's too thick. If that goes in, I'll be majorly impressed. I see a lot of people having problems with this. It needs that section there moving out of the way, but then that'd mean all four of these lights would be completely... You can see here, I can't get in there because it's just too wide by barely enough. Move the plastic, no. It's not even a millimeter. Okay. Give me a minute, I need to fettle and faff to put these this in, so give me a minute and I'll explain exactly what I did. Unless I broke it, then I'll explain exactly how to repair it. Success. Right, I'll show you on this one. Bend the cable back, just be careful. And then instead of threading this, which is that way around because the screw is there, right there. Don't thread it in so the bottom of the shuttle bit, because it is that way around. Bottom of the shuttle bit goes in first. Put the top bit in first. Underneath. That squashes up against the cable and then it's a case of... This is as awkward as the other one. But there, it's gone. It's just gone there. And then just manoeuvre it in. A little. It's not gone. Has. It's just it, it managed to whittle itself in and that's not lined up. There we go Right, so basically put it put the cable down Forward a little bit thread it through on the same side as the cable and then push it on the other way Not to the opposite way that I was looking at it probably does explain in the instructions I don't usually read them. They seem to be quite self-explanatory for this sort of thing And There we go two Shuttle bay doors, number two and number three. Although, like I say, I don't... Mm. We did see different size shuttle bays, I'm sure we did. But where else would I have a cargo bay? I've been playing episodes with a cargo bay and things being thrown out of it. But we'll find out in the next issue. So we've got one screw over for the plastics. We've got another one from the, the metals. So let's get on and set up for stage 17. Stage 17, okay. <clears throat> we have the last section for the saucer. We have a large support and a very smaller support. Really, really thin. So that might go to the front, back, don't know. We'll find out in a bit. But <clears throat> section A has the battle bridge, which is there. Is it the right way around? Yes, right, okay. And we have three pins, no your screws. Yeah, we know we are screws. Yes, they're all B. M so far, so the metals. So I don't know if that screws into here. I don't think it does. The battle bridge 17D has three pins on its underside. Use these to push it into place on top of deck eight. Ah, so it's got to be that way around. You see what I see? Deck eight. So basically, push those little pins into the holes. They're just pegs anyway, aren't they? It will line up. Should line up. Okay, please line up. 
one, one's in, you should be able to get the other two in easy enough. So it looks like it just pushes in place. It's a very thin battle bridge. Put the assembly to one side until later. Ooh. So you could, if we knew that this was going to be staying as it is, you could probably put a dab of glue on each top of there, which will hold it onto this, this part anyway. But again, I have no idea. That is a magnet. Not a very strong magnet. I have better, <laughs> but that's fine. So put that to one side for later. Shall we go there? Now, B. <sighs> Insert the upper skeleton section number 817. Oh, that way around. Yes. Into the upper skeleton assembly and secure it. The skeleton supports using four BM screws. So we are basically doing that and securing into there. So we're securing with the, to the posts that we already have. So I'll show you one. And obviously the other two supports will go in the middle on the other section there. Done. There. Is that lined up? That doesn't look lined up to me. So it looks like it needs pressing in. This is the thing with a lot of this, it seems some of it is not exactly lined up or a tiny bit bent, unless I'm completely wrong. I'll just loosen that a little to start with. Ah, that looks better. So I'll put the other three screws in this and we'll come back in one second. And them screws are in. Now we have now secure the upper section for this part here. It goes behind here. Okay so that will be screwed into there to those four pins. Four holes in there holding these back sections together and this part goes two backs it goes against these four screw holes here on the opposite corner and obviously you see the curve the tiny bit of a curve make sure it flows with the rest of so that will go underneath and be screwed into place with the metal screws okay easy enough to do just trying to get these on <laughs> while trying to put the screws on the screwdriver Done, done. I'll get these done. Quick cut again. And come back in a second. They're done. Now I'm guessing that that thick part on there is the same thickness as the rest of them. Of the outer ones, actually it's thicker. Or is it? It's thicker than that end one there anyway. But that's a different ring. Okay, so it's thicker the more it gets in to the centre part. But obviously that part there is thinner because. You'll have uh, this section here going somewhere around about there. So it will show you. Look at that, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Hmm. Or maybe there, yes. So at least it's not going to interact and squash anything underneath there. It will clip into place, I assume. So we seem to be done we stage 17. Cool. Still got more screws left, which is good. So we have a bridge. We have a fully assembled top side of the saucer. So we are coming together quite nicely now. I still guess that there's going to be the same sort of skeleton underneath, but at least we've got all the supports in. Perhaps there may be supports going on the outer ring. I don't know. There's a lot of holes on here. Hell of a lot of holes. So let's find out what happens in number 18, shall we? Next parts. Stage 18 parts as follows. Now, I kind of thought that these parts here would be, yeah, kind of thought they might have been the magnets, but it does actually look like it holds the battle bridge in. But I don't know why it would hold the battle bridge in, but you'd be able to take it off. Oh, that doesn't make much sense. But it looks like we don't use this in this part. Yes, note, store battle bridge section A in a safe place for use later. Damn it. I mean, it's actually a really nice piece, that. Got the numbers on there, the Enterprise. So it looks like it may actually latch in place, possibly. I don't know, but lots of lovely pieces to go on there. I bet I could probably guess 
to use the actual skeleton part we've got and be able to attach parts together. But at the minute, we're going to leave that to one side. So what we have is some windows, a panel. Now, before, reflective, LEDs, screws. Right, the DMs. I think I've got one DM from uh, one before. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to leave that to one side a second. What worries me is, one, this, all the window alignments on here are the same as this picture here. Two, it doesn't line up with this panel that I'm doing. Right, I'll show you there. Can you tell? This goes that way. Now that panel there looks like it's got one and then a three, and then a three and a one. Why are they, f why are they four? Hmm. Maybe just me being a little bit awkward, but but what I would also have liked to have seen is me not having to line up stickers on here. I would have hoped, seen as this has already got the stickers on, the 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 and whatever's the nacelle had got stickers on for the um, the logo and other lines and stuff around the back of the the next section. Why have we not not got half a CC? Dash one seven zero and a SS Enterprise. Enterprise, yes. So I'm guessing right at the end we're going to be sticking all these on. Which I am not fully looking forward to. I can do it; it's not a problem. But I thought it'd been better if they were already painted on here, unless this is an error. Unless this is the underside. Hmm. I think if it was the underside, one, that picture would be the other way around, and two, isn't there a, like a deck where it kind of curves into it and it gives like a forward observation lounge or something? Hmm. I just don't know. Right. It looks like we have. Take this that way around. I'm going to mark in all these windows. I have tons of these windows left over. So what I'm going to do is cut these out from to the right shape that that is and again quick cut get that out of the way because these are going to start springing everywhere and we'll get back to in a second when the windows are in that windows in now it does actually say on here when you, when fitting the windows you may find it helpful to keep the deck panel at an incline the reason for that is if this is in the center of the screen go oh, there we go is if you can notice there, they actually do move a tiny bit because they're kind of not exactly flush with the, the actual other side of it, but they kind of pop out just a tiniest bit. So you may be popping them out afterwards. Now it looks like those reflectors, both of these reflectors here, let's go that way around, want to go on top of this. So it looks like you're doing this first and then putting the lights in. Covering the windows, the slots on both reflectors should sit on the outer edge. So the curved bit here is on the bottom. Okay, that's good. Screw in place with the DM screws. D for the size D and M because it's metal. Now that will push in, or push out the plastics. I'm not going to do it fully too much at the moment because that doesn't want to go in either. Um, push it too far in. Actually, what I really wanted to do was put the other side in before I did start that one because I don't trust these windows to not fall out on me. Once they're all in place and on, then we can be a bit more relaxed. I mean, we are going to have a lot of these panels. A hell of a lot of these. I mean, that's my only criticism of this build, is it seems that there's too many panels. It doesn't seem to be a flowing ship. I mean, you look at the original artwork and the, the prototype, yes, it looks nice, but you can see big panels like this, and I would prefer it if they had done something that looked a little bit better. That, oh, has that screw popped out? That it didn't look like it was in squares. The Enterprise itself doesn't look like it in squares, like one big solid piece. 
be properly welded and sanded and grinded back down together again. So I don't know. Are they all in? Yes, they are all in. They are actually, and you see that, they're actually raised. So is that me pushing, screwing that in too much? Probably so. Then afterwards they'd rattle. Yeah, the whole thing looks like it's always been pieces being welded together, if this was the future. And it's then grounded flat, so it wouldn't show panels. But this does look like each one of these sections is a, a part, which doesn't look right. And I do hope there's ways of getting round that when it gets later into the build. Now, should the windows be flush? Or should they be raised? I mean, I can loosen that a little bit. When I say it loosens and it doesn't become raised, but it rattles. So for the time being, I'm gonna put them down. And they miss one out then. Unless the screw fell out, I don't know. That barely rattles. That's good. That, we'll leave that as, as is, because I can play with that later. Uh, take one of the deck... The two, oh, the four there. Okay. They are all together. Looks like they've got the green. Doesn't matter which way the cabling goes, honestly. It matters which way the socket goes in the tester, which we'll get out because it's down there in a second. It does matter that way around, but it doesn't matter which if the green ones are in front and the red ones are at the back. Green, red. Although, to be honest, I'm just gonna follow the, the rules because I'm a sheep and I want to follow them. Oh, okay. I think I just found out. Screw, secure the reflectors, two screws. Take one of the deck panel lights. Oh, I've jumped in front. I've not done, th this is why you need to read the instructions. Right, I'm gonna loosen that side and hope that I can thread this through. Read the instructions, Ralph. Read the instructions. What's wrong with you? Well, that's not up enough. So, basically, follow the instructions, which means put four screws in the middle, and not the edge, and then put two lights in. Again, doesn't matter which light you do where and how. There we go. And there. There. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. No, it's fine. And then screw that side in place. Oh, this screwdriver. Eagle Moss, please send me a better screwdriver. Oh, that goes on there. I'm going to do the same with the side, which is basically take the screws back out. Rush, rush, doesn't get anything. So again, let's do it that way around. I'll put the greens on top just to make anybody not comment on you're supposed to follow the instructions. And I'm like, yes, I know. Right, so the piece of plastic, that little tab, behind the lights will just cut itself into where the light is there holding it in place, all being well. There we go. Yay, cool. So we got the battery pack there, the battery's still in there. Goes either to the bottoms with this one in case it wants to go to the C, which is on the side. These will only fit one way round. See on the side, don't go in, turn it around. Don't go the other way, it was the other way. So, and it was in the bottom left. I'm just following exactly the diagrams there to what goes in. Won't fit in that way, so it goes that way. Realize my hand was probably in the way then, to actually see. Come on, Ralph. You know, it's thrilling, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Right, so the LEDs seem to work. 
I've got enough light coming through, just like those. It's not too, too bad on light bleed. I expected more light bleed on that, but that's actually not bad from the angle there. Oh, that's nice. It just blocks out. That's not bad at all with light bleed. Hmm, okay. Cool, cool. So, and the complete. Done, sorted. Happy, happy. So what we had in this this issue then? You know, it'll be like the one, one issue, one, one episode format. So what we've done so far, we've completed the upper section. Remember there's two screws underneath there. We have a battle bridge. We have a top of the next section and I'm betting, ooh, that fits in place rather well. Do we leave it there? It doesn't tell us to, so we're not gonna put it in there. We also have that, which is the back section, which that will go on. Ooh, oh, I could screw that in place there, but I don't know whether or not that's a good idea. See, that will go underneath there, eventually. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This one will go. See, could I potentially start putting things on? Because if we know this goes, oh, where does that go? It's kind of, where are the holes for it? It's four there, they go there. No, they don't go there. They only got two holes there, they go there. Ooh, okay. I have an idea with the parts, you know. Give me a second and I'll show my idea. Now this is my idea. This is how we are so far. I don't think this thing, I, this part does fit onto the back end of this skeleton, but it doesn't fit properly. The biggest problem with this so far is the wiring. The wires are absolutely everywhere. I don't know if they go there and go over top, go underneath, tuck in, put in these three pieces, one, two, three, it was an absolute nightmare because the wires are in the way. But once the things are screwed in place, I assume that there's gonna be a, a potential lip where the, the wires go over the top of this metal section in some parts. That might be why. Ah, hold on. I'll show you this random section. Where's my finger? There, no. I wanna say that part there looks like there's maybe where a wire, where a light would be. However, there's lights there. There is a line there across here. So that might actually go across there. It's gonna be a threading nightmare, this, with cables. I mean, I am not the best person at doing, well, when I did my PC, my cable tidiness is shockingly bad. I won't even go back in there now. Oh, but it's, it's, it's looking interesting, isn't it? Oh, come on, stay in place. No, I don't want to do it anymore. It's got the face on with me, but that's fine. I'll face on with it too. <laughs> But yeah, this is, this is it's coming along quite nicely. Obviously these aren't in place, but these are where these places are gonna go. So yeah, just a shame that we haven't got part of a USS Enterprise NCC-1701D there, because it will be across the front of these parts here. Unless of course it's another missing bit, like we've got the missing um, black marks off the nacelle on the back of here. So we are getting along quite nicely and I am really enjoying this now. Now I can see, <laughs> that there's another section underneath. We are doing really, really well on this. Shame that won't stay in place. I it did go. I know it did. It goes there. Sell tip. Right. Anyway, with that in mind, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this part. <sighs> Being one part instead of two, because there was less to do, but we're getting used to this now. We're getting really into this. So we can have a good good session plodding along when it comes next month oh i wish it was half the price but twice as often but yeah it looks like we have got latches here there may be a bigger magnets underneath that that will clamp to but that does clamp to that and potentially if i'm guessing that that part the battle bridge will come off and not mold into the underside of the saucer underneath here so again thanks for watching Hope, hope you like please like and subscribe comment share on social media follow me on social media 
help me out of the channel as best you can. Links are all in the description. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.